You stole the light from the stars above and brought it here tonight. Mesmerized, terrified, but I've never felt more alive. And I'm falling, falling for you. And I'm falling.
the Lord God said, It is not good for the man to be alone. I will make a suitable partner for him. So the Lord God formed out of the ground various animals, various birds of the air, and he brought them to the man to see what he would call them. Whatever the man called each of them would be its name. The man gave names to all the cattle, all the birds of the air, and all the wild animals. But none proved to be a suitable partner for the man. So the Lord God cast a deep sleep on the man, and while he was asleep, he took out one of his ribs and closed up its place with flesh. The Lord God then built into a woman the rib that he had taken from the man. When he bought, brought her to the man, the man said, This one at last is the bone of my bones and the flesh of my flesh. This shall be the one called woman, for out of her man this one has been taken. This is why a man leaves his father and mother and clings to his wife, and the two of them become one body. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Love is patient. Love is kind. It is not jealous. It is not pompous. It is not inflated. It is not rude. It does not seek its own interests. It is not quick-tempered. It does not brood over injury. It does not rejoice over wrongdoing. But it rejoices with the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never fails. Jesus said to his disciples, This is my commandment. Love one another as I love you. No one has greater love than this to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I no longer call you slaves because a slave does not know what his master is doing. I have called you friends because I have told you everything I have heard from my father. It was not you who chose me, but I who chose you and appointed you to go and bear fruit that will remain so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give you. All your family and friends dressed to the nines in this beautiful cathedral, we are all here today witness something astounding that is gonna take place in your life. In a few moments, the two of you will stand right here before the altar of the Lord, and you're gonna give one another today a very special gift. It's not a gift you can put in a box and wrap up with a nice little bow, right? Not that kind of gift because today you are the gift. In a few moments, you're gonna give yourselves away to one another so totally, so completely, holding not even the smallest part of who you are back from that gift that you make to the other today, that God is gonna take that gift and he's gonna make the two of you one for the rest of your lives. We say things like, I love my husband, I love my wife, I love my children, I love my parents, I love my friends. And in the very next breath, we say things like, I love cheeseburgers, right? I love jumping out of airplanes. I love the color orange. And those are by no means equivocal with one another. And I'm sure that as you sit here before me today in this church of God, that it is more than the love for a good cheeseburger that brings you to God's altar, right? It's something that wells up from the depth of your soul and allows you to make that gift of self to one another today. But most especially when we wanna know what real love is meant to look like, we look to the example of our Lord Jesus, who personifies love most perfectly, and most perfectly on the cross. It is a love that is self-forgetful. It is a love that looks to the good of the other without counting the cost to self. It is a love that says, I'm not in this marriage for what you're gonna do for me. I'm in this marriage for what I am going to do for you. Thomas, our Lord is saying to you today, Thomas, I need you to be willing to do everything in your power. I need you to be willing to set aside your own wants, your own needs, your own desires, even be willing to shed your very blood, should you be called upon to do so, for the sake of the good of your bride, Taryn, this day, so that she becomes the holiest woman that she can be, so one day she stands forever in the kingdom of heaven, which is the destiny for which she was made. And Taryn? Our Lord today speaks those very same words to you on this your wedding day. Our Lord says to you, Taryn, I need you also to be willing to do everything in your power. I need you to be willing to set aside your own wants, your own needs, your own desires, even be willing to shed your very blood, should you be called upon to do so, for the sake of the good of your husband Thomas this day, so that he one day stands forever in the kingdom of God with you, which is the destiny for which he was made. Pray together every day in the life of your home. Call down God's blessing upon your family. And I promise you, 
he will shower it in abundance. And you will never be without the love and the grace that you need to find happiness and joy and peace in and through this wonderful and at times mysterious way of life that is holy matrimony. And so I want to leave you with two pieces of advice that I think are important, simple, but important that I hope you carry with you throughout your married life together. The first is this. Do not let a single day of your married life go by without telling your spouse that you love them. Make sure those words come from your lips to your spouse's ears every day, even if you happen to be apart. Let it never be something that is implicitly only understood, but something that they hear from you each and every day. And let's be honest, more importantly, experience from you each and every day of your lives together. The second piece of advice are two other expressions that are just as important as I love you. And I hope that they will not be far from your lips. They are, I am sorry and I forgive you, right? Sometimes we do dumb things. And when we do, sometimes we hurt those whom we love. And when that happens, we have to have the humility to go to the other person and to say that we're sorry. And then the other person in recognition of all that God and his mercy has done for us to accept that contrition and extend that mercy to them. Thomas and Taryn, have you come here to enter into marriage without coercion, freely and wholeheartedly? I have. Are you prepared as you follow the path of marriage to love and honor each other for as long as you both shall live? I, I am. am. Are you prepared to accept children lovingly from God and bring them up according to the law of Christ and his church? I, I am. am. I, Thomas. Take you, Taryn. Take you, Taryn. To be my wife. To be my wife. I promise to be faithful to you. I promise to be faithful to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love you and to honor you. To love you and honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. I, Taryn. Take you, Thomas. Take you, Thomas. To be my husband. To be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you. I promise to be faithful to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love you and to honor you. To love you and to honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. Taryn. Receive this ring. Receive this ring. As a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit and of the Holy Spirit. Thomas. Receive this ring. Receive this ring. As a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. For Taryn and Tommy, may they live long, blessed lives together. May their love grow stronger each and every day. And may they build a family rooted in faith and unconditional love. O God, by whom woman is joined to man, and the companionship they had in the beginning is endowed with the one blessing not forfeited by original sin, nor washed away by the flood. Look now with favor on these your servants joined together in marriage, who ask to be strengthened by your blessing. Send down on them the grace of the Holy Spirit and pour your love into their hearts that they may remain faithful in the marriage covenant. May the grace of love and peace abide in your daughter Tara, and let her always follow the example of those holy women whose praises are sung in the scriptures. May your husband Thomas entrust his heart to her, so that acknowledging her as his equal and joint heir to the life of grace, he may show her due honor and cherish her always with the love that Christ has for his church. And now, Lord, we implore you, may these your servants hold fast to the faith and keep your commandments, Made one in the flesh, may they be blameless in all that they do. And with the strength that comes from the gospel, may they bear true witness to Christ before all. May they be blessed with children and prove themselves virtuous parents who live to see their children's children. And grant that reaching at last together the fullness of years for which they hope, they may come to the life of the blessed in the kingdom of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. May God, the eternal Father, keep you of one heart in love for one another, that the peace of Christ may dwell in you and abide always in your home. Amen. Amen. May you be blessed in your children, have solace in your friends, and enjoy true peace with everyone. Amen.
Amen. May you be witnesses in the world to God's charity, so that the afflicted and the needy who have known your kindness may one day receive you thankfully into the eternal dwelling of God. Amen. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. My friends, it is my pleasure to introduce to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Thomas and Taryn Drought. Yes. Yes. Not yet. Not yet. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we do? Oh, okay. You know, and everybody always tells you when your daughter gets married, don't worry, just as long as you know, you're, they're healthy and happy. A dad worries, okay? And I've got the best son-in-law I could have ever had. Tommy's just great. Taryn, there are truly no words to describe how much you mean to me as my sister. You are my favorite person in the world, the first person I tell everything to, the one I trust the most, and you are my forever best friend. But of course, the biggest catch of all is sitting right here with us, one Miss Taryn Courtright. This is a this is a catch we like to classify as a keeper. Uh, Taryn isn't just a keeper for Tommy though; she's a keeper for the entire family. Uh, Taryn, you're a gift and a pleasure to be around. You provide a fresh outlook and perspective for our family. In closing, I would like to say, here's to a night that we may remember, not remember, but with friends and family, we will never forget. To Taryn and Tommy. Tommy, I had always wished for a big brother and I'm lucky I now get to call you mine. Thank you for being my biggest supporter and fulfilling all the roles of a brother. But most importantly, thank you for being my eating buddy and always down to smash a cheeseburger with me while Taryn's there pretending she's enjoying her kale salad and green juice. We're so happy to have you a part of the family. I know is certainly looking to have another sister in addition to Liesl. I could always use another bro to bro out with. Uh, Taryn, if you stay committed to Tommy, the way you stay committed to Taylor Swift and avocados, Tommy's gonna be one lucky man. Lord, look upon these two and keep them with their love and their commitment and their service from this day on. Keep them in our hearts forever.
wanted to thank everybody for being here. It means so, so much to us from how far everybody traveled to be here and just how happy everybody is to see us. I don't know if it's fake or not, but I appreciate it if it is. And I didn't think anything would top Taylor Swift this summer, but I think this is going to top that. So thank you guys so, so much. We love you guys, and we hope you have a really, really fun time tonight. So thank you. Sipping on iced tea lemonade. lemonade. See me catching that new wave. Lemonade. Every day gonna celebrate. Lemonade. Going up, gonna elevate. Lemonade. Hey, check me out, check me out. Look at how I draw a crowd, draw a crowd. Gotta take off like way up in the clouds. Going all the way, can't stop me now. I'm feeling so good. So good, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm feeling so good.